Well, good morning, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Um, this morning, I woke up to some news that was kind of surprising, that Michael Irvin has voluntarily dismissed his case. Now, the thing is with this case is it's kind of interesting. This could mean a multitude of things. Um, Marriott turned over the tape that Levi McLaren, Michael Irvin's attorney, actually saw um, by himself, as well as other surveillance tape, including um, Michael Irvin leaving the hotel on his own discord. There's apparently a dispute about him being woken up um, and removed from the a hotel um marriott has a video of him leaving the hotel dressed and so on as well as any interactions allegedly that he has made at the hotel some people may look and say oh well, he must be guilty of something he might not want people to see that he was had people in his room or this that and the other mm, pump your brakes a little bit again this could be a couple of different things it could be that Marriott and Michael Irvin's attorneys are working towards a settlement because the key thing here is that he dismissed the case without prejudice, which means it is able to be filed again. And that is key. Now, I want you to keep in mind that Michael Irvin's attorney, Levi McLaren, didn't just fall off the salad the truck. He is one of the best litigation attorneys there are in Texas. And the key word here is Texas, okay? I am not an attorney, and I'm not going to pretend that I'm an attorney. But we're going to actually listen to one who actually explains all this stuff in better form. But this may actually have been a play. See, here's the thing. Here's the way I'm understanding it. By originally filing it in a Texas court, they know a Texas court is going to be more receptive to Michael Irvin than, say, a case in Arizona, which is true. Um, of course, Marriott tried to take it out of that case from Texas, but took it to Texas federal court. Mm -hmm. The thing here is Marriott was forced to turn over the tape three times by these Texas courts. The problem, of course, is having this case in Texas court opens up the door to say, this is not where Marriott's headquarters are. They're actually in Maryland, Bethesda, Maryland. This is not where they incorporated. This is not where the incident happened. So in order to win the case, conceivably, they need to actually move this to an Arizona court where jurisdiction of the incident happened. But the key thing on here was for Levi McLaren to get the tape. So that way he can put that out and win the battle of court of public opinion to put pressure on Marriott, which he has done. Now, again, could be wrong. There could be there's some damaging information on the tapes that Michael Irvin is now saying, mm, I didn't remember that happening. Oh, uh, maybe I might want to go ahead and, you know, end this. Those are the three possibilities of what's going on here. So there is a rush to judgment on this where people, cause I, I got an, I got an email this morning, shout out to you, my man, uh, who shared me this video, um, about it. But the take was, Oh, he's admitted he's guilty. He hasn't admitted anything. He hasn't admitted anything. And the key th reason why I say that that's not the case, because in this morning when they ended up, um, dismissing the case without prejudice, they still said they were going to release the tape. So if there was evidence of Michael Irvin being guilty, you wouldn't release the tape. You wouldn't you would literally want this thing to go quietly into the night. Showing the video is going to be the firestorm. So for those that are all of a sudden saying, "Man, 
you know, he played us, man. He's guilty. You know, he should burn in. No, hold up. Hold up for a minute. Now, let me go ahead and go to Legal Pad. Definitely check him out because, see, he's an attorney. I'm not. Legal Pad um, definitely has all the ins and outs on this, and I want you to listen to my buddy here. 13th, 2023, and it states that Marriott hereby certifies that on March 10th, 2023, at approximately 4.07 p.m., it produced copies of all the video recordings in its possession to plaintiff Michael Irvin. Irvin, this included the only video of which Marriott is aware showing the encounter between Irvin and the individual who reported Irvin's misconduct. On top of that, it sounds like Marriott produced a second video showing Irvin leaving the hotel in a coat and tie on the evening of February 6th. 2023. This is, of course, to refute Irvin's claim or his lawyer's claim earlier in the month that Irvin was actually evicted from the hotel, was waking up in the middle of the night or waking up in the morning from his sleep and thrown out of the hotel. It goes on to state that Marriott has been working diligently with the Phoenix Renaissance Hotel to obtain and preserve any additional relevant video footage that might exist from Irvin's February 5th and February 6th, 2023 stay at the hotel. By tomorrow, March 14, 2023, Marriott's undersigned counsel expects to receive hard drives containing all video data the hotel has been able to pull from its CCTV video systems to date, which Marriott will then produce as soon as it receives it and marks it for production. Marriott will continue to work diligently with the hotel to ensure that it has complied with the court's order. Just like Marriott is taking all of its surveillance footage from February 5th and 6th. It yep. has identified every instance where Irvin appears mm -hmm. on the video footage on those dates, and it's presumably going to put all of that onto a hard drive and turn it over to Irvin's lawyer if it has not already. I would expect that to also show Irvin entering elevators, leaving elevators, Irvin chatting with other fans in the hotel bar, in the lobby, Irvin checking into his hotel. It might even show guests coming into or going out of Irvin's hotel room. Just hours after Marriott produced its copy of the surveillance footage showing the interaction between Irvin and his accuser, mm -hmm. Irvin filed a notice of dismissal, dismissing his lawsuit, his entire lawsuit key. against Marriott. Let's take a look at Irvin's <coughs> notice of dismissal here. So here we have Michael Irvin's notice of dismissal filed on March 13th, 2023. As you can see here, it states that plaintiff Michael Irvin respectfully dismisses this action without prejudice pursuant to Federal Rule of Civil Procedure 41A1AI. Let's go ahead and take a look at Federal Rule of Civil Without Procedure 41. Prejudice so here we have Rule 41, which governs the dismissal of actions. Under the relevant subsection here, it deals with voluntary dismissals of cases by the plaintiff without a court order. That's exactly what Irvin has done in this case. It states that the plaintiff, that would be Irvin, may dismiss an action without a court order by filing a notice of dismissal before the opposing party serves either an answer or a motion for summary judgment. Marriott has neither served an answer nor a motion for summary judgment, so this subsection would apply to Irvin's case, and that's exactly what he did. Mm -hmm. But what is the effect of filing a notice of voluntary dismissal without a court order like Irvin has done? Well, in this subsection right here, it actually tells us what the effect is. It says the dismissal is without prejudice. So what exactly does that even mean? Well, without Escape. prejudice means without waiving your right to refile the claim in a new lawsuit at a later point in time. So Urban dismissed his claim in the Texas federal court without prejudice, meaning he is free to refile that in an Arizona federal or state court. You might be wondering why on earth did Urban dismiss his lawsuit against Marriott? Did he see something on the surveillance footage that made him change his mind about pursuing a lawsuit against Marriott? In my opinion, that that's highly unlikely. Here is what I think actually Here happened. Here we go. From go the him, first Nick. day that he was accused of misconduct and Marriott refused to turn over the surveillance footage to Michael Irvin, Irvin's number one goal has been to get a copy of the surveillance footage as quickly as possible so that he could show the public what the interaction with the Jane Doe defendant involved, what it looked like, and clear his name. Irvin's lawyer knew that a court in Irvin's backyard in North Texas would be far more likely to force Marriott to turn over a copy of the footage earlier than normal than a court in Arizona would.
There was only one problem. Urban's lawyer probably knew that Marriott was not subject to personal jurisdiction in Texas. That is one of the things that any lawyer, plaintiff's lawyer, checks for before you file the case. Personal jurisdiction would have required that Marriott had either been incorporated in Texas, that it had its corporate headquarters in Texas, neither of those apply here, or that the actual alleged defamation occurred in Texas. Because none of those three factors were met, there was no personal jurisdiction in Texas, and Urban's lawyer knew that. However, just because there's no personal jurisdiction doesn't mean the case is instantly dismissed. Because Marriott removed the case to the federal court from the state court, Marriott was implicitly submitting to the court's jurisdiction, at least until the court ruled on its motion to dismiss. The court chose to rule on Irvin's motion for early discovery of the video footage mm -hmm. before ruling on Marriott's separate motion to dismiss for personal jurisdiction, thereby forcing Marriott to actually produce the video footage or risk being in contempt of court for disobeying twice two different court orders. Marriott did the smart thing and chose to simply submit to the court's order for the time being produce over the footage, which it should have done to begin with. So rather than waiting for the court to dismiss Marriott, which could have taken weeks or even a few months, Irvin simply dismissed his claims without prejudice as soon as he received a copy of what he wanted all along, that surveillance footage. And of course, Marriott had to learn the hard way why you don't mess with Texas. Now, had Marriott voluntarily produced a copy of the surveillance footage to Irvin when it decided to report the allegations to the NFL and evict him from its hotel, none of this would have been necessary and Irvin probably would have filed his lawsuit directly in Arizona at the outset of this dispute. There you go. So what happens next in this ongoing saga? First, I fully expect Irvin's lawyer to release the surveillance footage to the public any day now. He is repeatedly promised to do so, and the footage is not going to contain any surprises to Irvin's lawyer since Irvin's lawyer viewed it for himself already and then went publicly and said, I'm going to release it to the public as soon as I get a copy of it. And second, I expect that Urban will refile his lawsuit in Arizona federal court in the coming days. Make sure to hit that. Shout out to attorney Nick. Um, Nick, okay, he explained it better to me. I, I, I just give you the cliff notes. He gives you all of the legal ramifications and how it works. The key here is there were two filings, two filings. So the first filing was, you know, we, we want to get the, a copy of the tape. The second filing was summary dismissal by of the case in Texas court because the Texas court really does not have jurisdiction over Marriott. It either needs to be filed in Maryland, where the parent company is, or it needs to be filed where the incident happened in Arizona. But Levi McLaren forced Marriott's hand to turn over the tapes. So before we rush to judgment, which is what's happened in this case from the very beginning by Marriott, let's let this whole thing play out to figure out if he's actually guilty or not of something. So there we have it. We uh, expect to see the tape. We expect to see the tape sometime really, really soon. Whew. I'm Mark Holmes, and I appreciate each and every one of you guys, and we'll keep you up to speed. And, of course, now i got to get on to the Cowboys and what they're, I would say, doing, or it's more of what they're not doing. Peace.